hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have m to the power of n minus n to the power of m equals to 17 and we will solve or find the values of m and n so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite our given equation as in the form of here you have m to the power of n and we will write it as m to the power of n and its whole power 2 over 2. Here I can just multiply um, uh, the exponent of both of the terms um, by 2 and uh, divide it by 2. So we write it as n to the power of m and its whole power 2 over 2 and it is equals to 17. And in the next step, you will uh, know very well about the exponential laws. And here we use the nice exponential law, which is in this form. If we have a to the power of m to the power of n, it is equals to a to the power of uh, uh, m times of n. So now we can use here this nice law. So according to uh, this law, our above equation will become in this form. Uh, so uh, here you write uh, m to the power here I can just multiply this 1 over 2 by n and it will becomes m to the power of n over 2 and its whole square minus similarly here we multiply 1 over 2 by m and you get n to the power of m over 2 and its whole square and it is equals to 17 so uh, in the next step uh, I can just uh, uh, convert this equation this nice exponential equation into the simplified form so that we will just take here uh, x equals to m to the power of n over 2 and we take y equals to n to the power of m over 2 so we make these two substitutions here and you will get its output in this form x squared minus y squared equals to 17 so uh, in the next step uh, we will just open the nice uh, square identity and you know that x squared minus y squared equals to uh, x minus y times of x plus y and this whole equals to 17 so now you focus in the left hand side and you see that uh, we have two factors uh, which is multiply in the left hand side so now we will make the two factors in the right hand side so uh, we have uh, the factors of uh, 17 are uh, 1 and 7 so we write this equation as x minus y times of x plus y equals to 1 multiplied by 17 so when you multiply 1 by 17 then you will get again here 17 so you see that uh, on both of the sides you have two factors so now you compare both of the sides and you will get its output in this form x minus y equals to 1 and x plus y equals to 17 so you get these two factors and uh, these two equations uh, and now we will solve these two equations and we get the values of x and y here. So I can name this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So you see that uh, if I can just add uh, equation number 1 and equation number 2 then you will uh, easily see that this y are gone and you get x plus x equals to 2 times of x it is equals to 1 plus 17 is 18 and now we move this 2 in the right hand side and you get x equals to 18 over 2 so that you have 18 over 2 is 2 times of 9 is 18 and we will get the value of x equals to 9 so now we will find the value of y so we put the value of x in equation number one uh, so uh, here just we will write uh, equation number one becomes 
so our equation number one is x minus y equals to one now we put nine equals to here and you get nine minus y equals to one and uh, easily you will get the value of y equals to eight so these are the two values of x and y i can just write these two values here so we have the value of x is 9 and the values of y is 8. So now we will back substitute the values of x and y and we get the values of m and n. So uh, you see that here we have the value of x is m to the power of n over 2 and the value of y is n to the power of m over 2. So we will back substitute these two values here and you will get its output in this form. Uh, you have the value of x is uh, m to the power of n over 2 it is equals to 9 and here you have n to the power of m over 2 equals to 8 so now we remove this uh, uh, two signs so in order to remove this two uh, we will just take the square on both of the sides so here you take scale on both of the sides of this term and similarly on this term and you see that we will get here these two are gone and we get m to the power of n equals to 81 and similarly here you get these two are gone and we have n to the power of m equals to 64 so uh, in the next step we will uh, focus on these two equations and we get the values of n and m uh, so uh, now you see that we have m to the power of n equals to 81 and we will write this 81 as 3 to the power of 4 and similarly here you have n to the power of m equals to 64 and we will write uh, this 64 as 4 to the power of 3 so uh, now uh, if you compare these two equations here then in this in this case you will get the value of n equals to 4 and the value of m equals to 3 similarly uh, if you compare these two sides then again you get the value of m is 3 and the value of n is 4 so if you see that we have m and n are the same values from these two cases so this is the our uh, final answer of this problem and now uh, we will check these values is the values of m and n satisfied our given question statement or not so in order to check we have the given question statement is m to the power of n minus n to the power of m equals to 17 and now we put the values of m and n here so you have the value of m is 3 and the value of n is 4 similarly here you have 4 to the power of 3 equals to 17 and now you see here 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 and minus 4 to the power of 3 equals to 64 and this all equals to 17 and 81 minus 64 equals to 17 equals to 17 so this shows that uh, the values of m and n satisfied the given question statement. So this is our final answer of this problem.